Okay, so uh, let's come up with a compound that is composed of only silicon and chlorine atoms, okay? So, how do I do that? Well, I've already done the chlorine part. Let's do that again. So the first thing I would want to do <coughs> is write out the two atoms. So silicon is Si, and then write out its Lewis structure, okay? So one, two, three, four. So from what we said, how many bonds do you think silicon is going to be making? Four. 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 Okay. And chlorine, remember, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many bonds is chlorine going to make? One. One. So how many chlorines do you think you'll need per silicon? Four. Four. Okay. So what I do, and again, if you can do this in your head, you don't have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven every time. But I like to keep that lone electron next to the other atom. So now we're going to make a covalent compound by attaching these two electrons together. So we're going to essentially make them get into their own orbital together. It's called a hybridized orbital, and we'll talk about that more later. So notice the arrows here. We call them fish hook arrows. Okay, they're half arrows. You guys see that? So half-headed arrows. So notice they're all meeting in between. They're not like being donated to the silicon. Okay. So they're sharing these electrons, remember, sharing. So when we draw the structure, it's going to be silicon with a covalent bond and chlorine with all of its valence electrons still showing. Everybody okay with that? The other thing you want to know is that, can I erase this a little bit? The other thing you want to know is that this drawing is on a two-dimensional <coughs> surface, but it's a three-dimensional molecule. Okay? It's a three-dimensional object. So the Vesper theory states, so we'll be talking about Vesper theory a lot, but Vesper theory is valence shell electron pair repulsion, okay, Vesper. And I know that's not how you spell Vesper, but that's what they say, okay? Um, it's like the Sepper or something like that. But anyways, we call it Vesper. Um, and the valence shell electrons repulse each other, okay? That's the theory of Vesper. They hate each other, okay? So they want to be as far away from each other as possible. Okay? So in order to do that, on a two-dimensional surface, it might appear as 90 degrees being as far away from each other as they could possibly get. But these aren't two-dimensional objects. Okay? They're three-dimensional objects. So in fact, they can get further away from each other than 90 degrees. Okay, so the furthest four things can get away from each other um, is 109.5 degrees. So that's a number you're going to have to memorize, okay, if you haven't memorized it already. So we're going to draw what the actual structure of this molecule looks like. And again, this is still a two-dimensional, or a three-dimensional representation on a two-dimensional board. But whenever you've got bonds that are just straight lines like that, that, you know, like this, straight lines, those mean that they're in the plane of the board, okay? When you've got something 
That looks like this. We call that a wedge, wedge to bond. So that means it's coming towards us. Okay. And then there's another type of a bond. It's called a hashed bond. So you see the hash marking. Like that. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see the three dimensionality to that. If you can't, um, I'm going to bring some models in next time and I'll pass them around and stuff. Okay. So the thing is, is like I said, there's a bond angle here. Bond angle measures from the angle from bond to bond, as you would imagine. Okay, it's not a measurement of here to here. It's the bond to bond. Okay, so this bond angle is 109.5 degrees, and hopefully you guys can see that's a bit bigger than 90 degrees. Okay. So that's better for electrons because they don't want to be near each other. Okay. So again, three-dimensional shape. Best for theory. We'll get into it more, more and more and more next this next week. Okay. So any questions on this one? I know we're just starting out with this, so I wouldn't fault you for not having any. Okay. Cool.